There are a lot of alternatives to Lightroom Classic for editing and processing your photos. And one of those is the combination of Photo Mechanic and Capture One, which is what I prefer to do. However, if you don't configure these two programs to work together, to work with one another, they're not gonna play nice and you're gonna lose a lot of your hard work trying to figure out how to transfer all of your edits from one program to another. And so that's what I wanna cover here is the workflow for using Photo Mechanic in conjunction with Capture One. Now, the reason that I love this workflow is Photo Mechanic is just so efficient for culling, for editing photos, adding metadata, organizing, all of that. But it's not a raw processor. And Capture One, I think, is a much better raw processor than Lightroom Classic, my own personal opinion. But it doesn't have great editing capabilities. So using the two together, actually, uh, even though it's two different programs, saves me time than when I was trying to use Lightroom Classic for everything. So let's start by looking at how to configure Photo Mechanic in a workflow where you're using these two programs. You'll need to open up the Preferences dialog, and we're gonna check a few things, starting with the dropdown, choosing IPTC XMP. Both Photo Mechanic and Capture One use what is called the XMP format for metadata, saving all of your ratings and your keywords and your captions and color tags and all of that stuff is saved to what's called an XMP sidecar file, which is just like a text file that is paired with your image file that contains all of this metadata. If it's not configured properly, this XMP file is not going to get transferred between programs. So starting in this dialog, we need to uncheck add embedded IPTC. And then we're also going to uncheck allow raw files to be modified. And doing both of these things is going to force Photo Mechanic to save all of the metadata to that XMP sidecar file so that it's more easily compatible between the two programs. Then we're going to go to the general dropdown. And if you want to sync the color classes, there's a snapshot for Capture One. You just go to the snapshots, select Capture One, and now all of the color classes that you're gonna be using in Capture One are going to be reflected in Photo Mechanic. This is just an optional step if you do use these color tags uh, to tag photos for certain reasons. And then we're gonna go into the Launching tab and tell Photo Mechanic to use Capture One as the default editor, which is just gonna make your workflow a lot easier, being able to use shortcuts. You can assign different file extensions to open in different programs. Like if you wanted to open a TIFF in Photoshop, but a raw file in Capture One, you can set that here. I don't do this, I just open everything in Capture One. So you go to your file browser, select where that app is and open it up. And then if you are recording the raw plus JPEG file format, there's one other thing you need to do. And that's just to make sure that when you edit a photo in Photo Mechanic and you send it over to Capture One, make sure you're sending over the raw file instead of the JPEG file. If you do want to learn more about a raw plus JPEG workflow, I did another video that you can watch about that. And then finally, we're going to go into the files dropdown. And this is especially important if you're using any kind of network storage, like a RAID or a network server. I'm not a computer guy. I'm not gonna pretend to understand what's happening here. But what I eventually found out was that Capture One was looking for a lowercase file extension. Photo Mechanic was saving an uppercase file extension. And those two just weren't jiving at all. The Capture One thought that that uh, XMP sidecar file was not there at all because it had a different file extension case. So in this dialog, just select use lowercase extensions because that's what Capture One is gonna be looking for. And that's just gonna prevent this from ever being an issue for you. Now we're done with Photo Mechanic. We're gonna go into Capture One and tell Capture One where to look for those XMP sidecar files and what to do with them. In the preferences, go to image and then down to the metadata section. You're gonna put a check mark next to prefer embedded XMP over embedded IPTC. That's just ensuring that we're using the XMP even if it is embedded with the file. But then we're also gonna check 
prefers sidecar XMP over embedded metadata. Because remember, we just told Photo Mechanic to create that sidecar XMP file. So now we need to tell Capture One that's what we want it to use. You also have a few options for the auto sync sidecar XMP pull down. If you select none, that's not going to do anything with that metadata that you saved in Photo Mechanic. You're gonna to have to sync all of that metadata manually by yourself. Now this doesn't mean that the metadata is not gonna be associated with that file at all. However, if the metadata is not synced into Capture One, if you do your processing in Capture One and then export that file from Capture One, you're not gonna have any of that metadata associated with it. So I like to choose load. And what that means is that when I import photos into Capture One that were sent over from Photo Mechanic, Capture One is automatically going to load all of that metadata into Capture One to be associated with that file. That's what I prefer to do. The next option here, full sync, means that it's gonna do that same load. And then if you make any changes to metadata in Capture One, it's then going to rewrite, resave those changes into that sidecar file. Now, if you're not doing any metadata changes in Capture One, which I don't, you'll just wanna use the load option here to make it a little bit faster. After you've done all of this, you want to test your setup. Test it with one photo. You don't wanna go through a whole entire shoot. Now you're importing 150 photos from Photo Mechanic into Capture One, only to find that your setup doesn't work. So just pick one photo. We're gonna enter some test captions and some test keywords here. We're then going to import that photo into Capture One and just make sure that those test captions and test keywords appear in the metadata for Capture One. And now I know that when I export that photo from Capture One, all of that metadata will be intact. So the workflow that I generally do is I will edit all of my photos in Photo Mechanic. So that means that I rename all of my files, I add all of my basic metadata, like basic captions and keywords and location data, copyright. And I see this metadata as an important piece of the original file, not the processed file. So that's why I add this information to like the negative instead of the process print. If you wanna learn more about adding all of this metadata, you can check out another video I did about structured keywords. And I have a photo mechanic guide and interactive online course where you can learn all about all of these other functions. After I add all of the basic metadata, then I start my culling process. I go through and I identify all the photos that just didn't make any kind of cut at all. I'll assign those one star. And then out of all of the remaining photos, I'll go ahead and I'll assign either two or three stars for the remaining photos and just kind of uh, cull those photos down. Maybe I started with 100 photos and then I'll cull it down to 10 of my favorites, the 10 photos that tell the story, the ones I want to include in a portfolio. Um, and those are the ones that I'm going to be sending over to Capture One. But before I do that, I might add even more metadata, like a more descriptive caption or more detailed keywords. And now these 10 files are ready for processing. I don't want to send all 100 photos over to Capture One. I only want to send the 10 that I've identified are candidates for my portfolio. Now I'm gonna take all of those and I'm going to put them in a selects folder. So in Photo Mechanic, I'll just use the navigator, create a new folder called selects and drag all of those photos into that folder so that they're separated from the rest of the raw files, the others that didn't make the cut. It's especially important to do this within Photo Mechanic if you're using Photo Mechanic Plus, so you're not breaking any of the connections in the database. Now, once I have all of those photos identified, I have all of the metadata that I want for those photos, now it's time to send those raw photos over to Capture One for processing. I'm first going to open up Capture One and the catalog that you want to add all of these in. So I'm just gonna open up my default catalog and that's gonna be open and ready to receive the files from Photo Mechanic. Then I go over to that selects folder. I select all photos and then either go to image edit photos or you can use the hotkey combo 
Control E for a PC or Command E for a Mac. And if you are sending a lot of photos over to Capture One, Photo Mechanic's gonna ask you, hey, do you really want to send all of these over to Capture One? Just click yes. And then Capture One is going to become the active window and that import window is gonna come up. In Capture One, you can pick all photos and import them into your catalog. Just make sure that you go over the import instructions so that you don't have any other naming conventions in there or you're not removing any metadata. There really shouldn't be anything on this side of the import dialog. Then you're just gonna process all of those raw files in Capture One as you want. And when you're done, now it's gonna be time to export all of those raw photos as other JPEGs or TIFFs or whatever format you wanna use. So when you go to that export dialog, you're gonna set all of those options as desired, like the file dimensions, sharpening. As far as the destination folder, I just keep it the same as the source folder, but I'm gonna put them in a subfolder within the source folder called processed. So my selects folder is gonna have a subfolder inside of that called processed. It's gonna keep all of my processed JPEGs away from those raw files. You wanna set naming to image name so that the original file is retained. And then in the metadata section, just make sure that you're saving all of the metadata that you wanna save, which could be everything, or maybe just like a copyright notice, but check that first and then export your photos. So that's it. And it may seem like a lot of work, but the good news is that you only have to do it once. You just set up your photo mechanic preferences, set up your Capture One preferences, test the connection, test your configuration, and then once that's verified, it's really easy from there. You do all of your editing and all of your metadata edits in Photo Mechanic, all of your culling, you put your selected files into a selects folder, you select all of those photos, open up Capture One, get your catalog ready to go, and then edit all of those Photo Mechanic photos in Capture One. Do all of your raw processing and export the final photos. After practice, after you do this a lot of times, you may find that this workflow, even though you're using two separate programs, is faster than trying to do all of it in one program like Lightroom Classic or Capture One. Now, if you wanna learn more about Photo Mechanic, all of its features, how to build your own workflow, along with some keyboard shortcuts and checklists, you can check out my Photo Mechanic Guide course, which you'll find here uh, linked on the screen and also linked in the video description, along with a coupon code for 20% off. If you have any other questions or comments, please let me know. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe for more great tips like this every week, and I'll see you in the next video.